Let's talk now about string functions. There are a number of uh, functions in Perl that uh, are dealing with strings. Uh, the most uh, simple one probably is the length that will return the number of characters in your uh, string. Uh, then there is LC that will return the same string in lowercase letters and UC with uppercase and LC first that leaves all the string as it is except the first character is turned to lowercase and uh, the same UC first just to uppercase. The first really interesting one is index. Index gets uh, basically two strings. Uh, one is a longer string and the second one is a shorter. And it's going to find whether the shorter string, the second one, can be found within the first one. So it's looking for the location of one string in the other. So let's have an example here. Uh, the dollar s has the string this black the black cat jumped from the green tree and then we are running index providing it first uh, parameter dollar s and the second parameter is ac so we we are looking for the ac substring in this and if you look through it you can see that here here you can find ac and that's what index returns and uh, here we are printing it it prints out 6 because this is the, it starts with zero, so this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's the sixth character, again starting from zero, where the, the substring starts. The same can happen if you, the, the string is only one character. So if you run with E for, uh, if you're looking for the character E, or the substring E, it will return two, because this is the second character, the character in the second place. So this is the zeros place first and the second place. But again, if you look at the, the, the string, you can see that there are more places where this string, the E string, appears. So this is here and here and here and, and more. Because index starts from the beginning of the search, for searching the, from the left hand side of the string, it finds the first one. If we can, uh, in Index can also get a third parameter. So as you can see in this example, I can give a third parameter, which is the first character where the search should begin. So if I give it three, which is just one above this two, so it will start from this space and then look for the next place where it finds the substring, the E substring, and this is this location, and will return 18. Now just to make sure, this 18 is counted from here. So 0, 1, 2, and so on till 18, and not from the place where the search started. The number 3 here is only giving you the place where you start. the index should start searching. So that's fine, but what if you are looking for dog? For the substring dog. And there is no dog in this, there is a cat, but there is no dog in this string. So index should return some kind of a, an indication that it's failed. It can't return zero as the indication because zero would mean that the string is uh, starting from the beginning of the m of the original string. So the indication here is minus one. Index will return minus one in case it cannot find the substring. And that's it about index. There is another function though, which is called R index, which behaves exactly the same except that it starts the search from the right hand side. So when you run R index on dollar s looking for the e substring it will find the rightmost appearance of the string in this case the last character which is position 39 our index can also get a third parameter which will tell, tell us where to store the search from from the right to the left so thir po uh, position 38 it will start from here and immediately find at the same position as a uh, character or if i run it with 37, it will find the, po the E at the position 33, this one. So you have either index or R index searching from left hand side or the right hand side. We can see that both index and R index will uh, number the characters from the left hand side. It just depends where they start from the search.